Hi, my name is Alan Edwards, and in this Estranged Development blog video, I'm going to show you how I build Estranged for Steam using Jenkins. Uh, now, when I uh, start this job here on Jenkins EST Windows Steam, it starts a uh, chain of commands which ends up with the build being pushed to the development branch on Steam. Um, so this is really good for uh, very quickly pushing builds to Steam to test uh, in that environment. So I'm going to go through uh, the commands that I'm using for this. So if we go to configure on this job. So if you haven't used Jenkins before, uh, it's extremely useful for uh, doing, you know, kind of builds. There are other tools out there, but Jenkins is free and it's very easy to host yourself. Um, so this is just sitting on an Amazon EC2 instance uh, and I use it for builds. So if we go down here, my build uh, has a few parameters. So uh, EST engine, EST branch, it's the engine version, the branch uh, from subversion to build from, the build label. Uh, the build label is actually seen in game. So uh, if you start up a strange, you can actually see that the build label is displayed in the corner here. And we're going to keep that uh, on the screen during the early access period, just to aid debugging. So that gets actually baked into the uh, into the build in Jenkins. So if we go down, so the first step here is the source code management. So it checks out the source code from the specified branch. Uh, and the actual, the first thing that we do uh, here is we get the, so we have a special Steam account for actually pushing builds here. So uh, it loads that from the Jenkins credential store, sets the Steam username, Steam password, puts it in environment variables. And also uh, we have a symbol server. So these are the uh, Amazon keys for accessing that uh, symbol server. It's actually hosted on S3. So uh, the first thing we do is we invoke this uh, estranged build stamp utility. And the build stamp utility uh, goes and queries Jenkins for the recent changes, and it bakes in uh, this, this label into the uh, header file that you give it. So here we have this header file that's used by the build, and it controls uh, what's displayed on the screen, uh, what's reported uh, when statistics are reported back, and it also defines the uh, change log in Estrange. So if I just open the Steam version of Estrange there, you can see uh, for now, this might change in the future, but probably we'll still bake the change uh, notes in. It's all of the commits uh, from Subversion, uh, and that's pulled from Jenkins. So that's using this tool. This tool is just available on GitHub if you're interested. It's a little C-sharp tool uh, that just stamps the, the header file that you give it with the, the specified constants and it, uh, it grabs the, the changes from Jenkins. Uh, so uh, then we run this uh, automated build cook run command. Uh, so this runs uh, the Unreal Automation tool, build cook run, and it has a few other parameters here, including the project, uh, the archive directory where we want to split it out to, and uh, the client config, and the target platform. So we're doing Win32 here. Uh, then after that's all built, we'll have a, a working build from this command. Uh, then we run uh, this uh, build symbols tool, uh, which goes ahead and uploads the uh, symbols from the build to Amazon S3 using another tool, which is in the same repository. Again, if you're interested, you can go and browse this. Uh, that uses the, the Windows uh, debugging tool, SimStore, to just uh, get the PDBs, uh, in the in the right directory structure, then it just splats those in Amazon S3. Um, so when people crash and they have uh, memory dumps, we can analyze them and get a call stack out of that. There's some license files. There's uh, some open font uh, licenses that need to get copied into the build. Uh, and here's the Steam stuff. So you can learn about all of this stuff on the Steamworks Development YouTube channel. They have a really good tutorial about this. But uh, here's, here's our depot build for Estranged. Uh, and then we've also got the app build, which uses the depot there. Uh, and I set the description there to EST label. So in Steamworks, I can see that the uh, I can see exactly the the branch, the revision uh, from SVN, the engine version, the same data that's displayed in Estranged when you start it up. And we set it live on the development branch. Uh, and the last thing that we do is we invoke Steam uh, and then upload that. Um, so then the, uh, the build will be put live uh, for people opting into that development beta. 
Uh, after that, we just archive the artifacts. Actually, this is going away since I set up the symbol, the symbol store, but uh, if you don't have a symbol store, you, I would recommend that you just use the Jenkins archive feature to, to store those, those uh, symbols if you need to debug your deployed builds. Um, but that's it. That's a, a very quick video just kind of outlining uh, uh, how builds work uh, with Steam uh, for Estranged Act 2 Early Access. Thank you very much for watching.